Warning, the video you are about to watch contains trained middle-aged professionals performing dangerous actions. Do not attempt this at home. This is Algonquin Provincial Park, established in 1893, making it the oldest provincial park in Canada. It spans 1.9 million acres and is home to some of the greatest backcountry trips ever taken. Upon closer inspection of a map, one will notice the indication of an old railway. Failed negotiations between Canadian National Railway Company and the provincial park regarding the transition of ownership led to the railway being abandoned. On November 24, 1995, the steel rails were pulled up, the railway ties removed, and berms were cut before and after each bridge to ensure travel along these paths were discouraged. For 25 years, the rail trail has laid dormant, until now. Traveling by bike for three days, covering 115 kilometers of the abandoned railway, we would start our journey from the Northwestern Gate and Kiosk and finish at the Southeast Gate in Acre. This will be known as the Trans-Algonquin Mountain Bike Rail Trail. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, it's happening. It's happening, but we're nervous. We're nervous because we're criminals. <laughs> Hurry up guys, we gotta roll. So that's why we're a little bit stealthy. Just wanna make sure we don't get in trouble. Currently one minute into the trail. One minute in the trail. And because it's our absolute very first time bike packing ever, we have significant mechanical and packing issues. Jamie had 300 pounds on his front wheels. And my straps weren't done properly. We had to readjust. But this is the starting, what are we calling it? The Trans-Algonquin Mountain Bike Rail Route. Josh, first impressions? It's good. I feel, find the squishiness of the gravel. It's a little strange, but get used to it. Thought it was gonna be easier. Yeah. Jamie? Oh, dumbest thing I ever did. Did you bring your phone though? No, Hitler took it away. <laughs> Plus, I need these fat ass tires that you guys have. <laughs> Thanks for telling me about that. It's the washout, let's check it out. It's got three leaves, I'll show you some later. I'm totally okay to turn back as well. I don't even, the thought of spending more time with you guys. <laughs> Hour 20 in, first break. Contemplating retreat. This is what you're dealing with here. That's the good stuff. Oh my god. So we're at the crossroad of the illegal railway With and the, the illegal illegal logging, illegal logging road. <laughs> oh Little pontoon. Two people. Seems to be all kinds of cottages here. 
Actually, this one's called Bush Camp. How do you feel? Uh, try to ride it, but... This is a great, great oh. bog. Funny, take a picture here, man. It's all kinds of bogs. You want to do the picture here? See, that angle is fucking crazy. Now what? Oh, oh yeah, this is bad shit. You still got water in here. Chug it. It's piss. <laughs> I pissed in that. <laughs> that would be the best ever. Shark. <laughs> Buddy. There's so much fucking giardia. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so as an update, nobody is having fun anymore. Nobody. It's turned into a slog. I think it's five hours of biking so far. Everyone's having fun, I'm just kidding. Can you hear that? So no joke. So we're in the middle of nowhere. There's a cabin right over here. And that's a chainsaw. And I'm pretty sure Leatherface. Leatherface is there. Well, this is the uh, Brent Historic Site. So you can see, we are right there. We came in through this and we're gonna continue along. And it actually even calls it, it even calls the abandoned rail line. It's the final push. We're just ripping through Brent Campground. The boys are back. Who wants to give the update? All right, I will. This is all the volunteers. We've missed the first campsite. Josh and Jamie didn't bring their phones, so we couldn't find it using their GPS. Yeah. So we're going right by the beach now, a bunch of cabins, and we're heading to the next campsite on the lake, it looks amazing. We're hoping it's not taken. It's about a kilometer out. Gotta do some hiking, hike a bike. Okay, let me give you the situation. We took a shortcut around the water. Okay. Problem is we need to make it over there. We don't know how deep it is. A bit wet, but I did it. <laughs> check out the wet check out the uh check out the campsite lots of room lots of room for a bunch of tents and then watch this guys how's this boys fuck you the man I for sure have poison ivy. For sure. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Steve are you sure walking? there's no poison ivy here? No, there's not. I saw it. Look. Jamie, did you see where he started walking? Way down over there. Yeah. 623. All set up. Usually give you guys my end of day summary. So we left. We've been here about an hour actually. Been in the campsite for now. So we got here at 530. We left at 11. It was six and a half hours. How far do we go, Josh? Check your GPS. Uh, I don't have one. I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> Roughly 40k today. The bum is sore. I think everyone's bum is sore. It's raw and it's red. Uh, we are staying on Cedar Lake, so we went kiosk to Cedar. 
Jamie is fishing or something. And that's it, man. We're gonna have a little bit of red wine and uh, probably just hang out by the fire. What else do you do? So I'm gonna tell you this, but I can hear them talking about me. You hear a phone? They hate me. You talking to Perry? See? All they do behind my back is talk bad about me. You better not be talking to Perry after taking our phone. What are you doing? <laughs> So I, I hate these guys. <laughs> I hate their guts. <laughs> I can't you fucking phone Perry. Uh, you, you phone Perry after look, taking our phones away. Look how great this is. I know. Ma, great talking to you. Perry, good talking to you. Yeah. Deluca, Jay, DeLuca is awesome talking to you as well. <laughs> yeah, man. How's it look? Josh's first time using a thunder box. You squat? I sit right on it, man. Are you crazy? Hey guys. Steve here. We call this the Thunder Vlog. It's Thunder Vlog number one. I'm not sure how light it is, but you can see the box is in use. This one in particular. I uh, give it a thunder score of about 6 out of 10. Uh, some minor rotting, definitely in need of repair. However, it has a beautiful view and there's a beaver eating out here, so that's what brings it up. If not, it would be a 3 or 4 out of 10, but because of the view, 6 out of 10. Look at that. Now there's also some pretty minor privacy issues. You can see Josh and them just back there. But uh, in general, uh, pretty good thunder. So once again, Steve's Thunderscore for this particular site, 6 out of 10. Let me do a time check for you. 422, buddy. Okay. Yeah, time. It's raining out. Oh man. 6 a.m. It's been pouring all night from when we went to bed. Good morning! 8.53. It's time to do what I like to call tent talk. Tent talk with Steve Evans. Oh, my back! I have a couple of updates for you. One, there is no God. Okay, me and Josh prayed to God last night that it wouldn't rain for 15 hours. He didn't do anything about it, so he doesn't exist. Jamie's a Scientologist. <laughs> Jamie used his science powers to try and stop the rain. So Scientology doesn't exist either. Number two is my knee hurts. I've been having knee problems for the last three years, have done nothing about it. And now I'm paying the penalty. What else have I got to go over? Uh, it's gonna rain all day today and we're about to ride in it. It's supposed to rain all day today and we gotta ride in it. And that was sort of part of number one. That's all, that's all I got. That's all I got, I think. It's wet and it's cold. I'm putting my rain gear on and I'm coming out. Clear up. I can see the sun peeking through. I saw moose back there. Wish I had a camera. Jimmy didn't bring his camera. It was stolen from me. <laughs> right over here, no? Clear considering it's raining. Situation one, we're not gonna be do, doing much filming. 
because it's so ass outside. But two is this. Josh is gonna go first, right down the middle. It it gets deep down there, man. Break time. Oh, that's pretty. Look at them flexing underneath you, eh? <laughs> Look at them, them flexing underneath us. Are they? Yeah. It's a high one, man. It's a very high one. Break time. Oh yeah. Woo! Yeah, this is awesome. So rapid. Go get us some water, Stevie. Yes, sir. This was your idea. Or shaman or Sherpa, whatever, I can't remember. That is steep. <laughs> Pull Steve up. Push him down. <laughs> Poke him down. <laughs> Hold the bottle. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we need to grab onto something. This is amazing. It's actually amazing. There's no tension on it whatsoever. <laughs> it's not, not, no, but it gave you the, <laughs> <gave> the confidence. <laughs> We've got to bring the pack raft here. Woo! Some good fun to have. Check the farmer's almanac. Man. One millimeter rain. One millimeter rain. Non-stop. It's been raining since 11 p.m. last night. It is now 3:40. It? it is now 3:40. It's been raining for like 16 hours. I can't see anything anymore. My glasses are completely fogged. Poplar. Poplar? Poplar? So we're gonna veer off for tonight. Head down the logging road. Wait. Wow. Oh, it's like heaven. The road is paved. Josh, what's the update? We found a helipad. Hell, yeah, we did. It's pretty cool. For our rescue. Yep, for rescue. We're on a real road we're gonna with speed limits it. and everything now. This is road number three. Road number three. We're almost at camp. We think. We think. This is day two. We don't know how to ride when it's dry anymore. Only when it's wet. Because <laughs> we're now from England. We're now from England. <laughs> <laughs> it's finally stopped raining right when we arrived at our campsite. Left at 10.30, got here at 5. Six and a half hours of biking, plus like one to one and a half hours of complaining. 
Way more than that. Way more than that. Two hours of whining, three hours of biking is what it took to get here. Uh, campsite on Poplar. Check it out actually, it's nice. We've got the hammock gear tarp we put up in case it rains again. Got the bikes. Let's get this little city set up. Woo! Airing out that bad boy, because she stinks. Let's uh, give you a little rundown of what we got. Bikes are back there. We had the big tarp up, but then my friends burned it. <laughs> hey, I burned half my clothes. My new way. tarp, 600 US dollars plus shipping, burned by my friends on the first use. <laughs> we did get a fire going. We better put another log on there, man, or else it's gonna... Which one? I don't know, pick one. And then we have like a whole melange of shit over there. So we're gonna make some dinner and relax. Oh, that is good. You want to get up, Josh? Yeah. What? What did you say? He said he wants to fuck. <laughs> Day number three. My two colleagues oh. have gone insane. There's only one thing we need to go over this morning. That's the bear hang. I want to show you the bear hang. Bear bag hang. The bear bag? Stop talking when I'm in the middle of my monologue. Bear back. <laughs> the bear back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's soaking outside. Yeah. Oh yeah. Come, come hither. I gotta bring the pack raft back here. This is the craziest river. Okay, check out this bear bag. Check out this bear hang. Thunderbox score, seven out of 10. Good location, nice and elevated, beautiful sun. The only downfall is, I don't know if you can see this, the parking lot is right there so everyone can see you while you do your business. Observatory house, we're going. That, my friends, is a big dish. It's big, it's very big. Look at the size of it. Josh, go in the center. Go right in the center. Yeah. yeah. This is a track from a. Oh, this is a great plow. Dude, this is probably ten thousand dollars worth of equipment right here. We'll come back and get that later. <laughs> back on the rail trail again after spending what five or six kilometers on the logging road Jamie's favorite is when it's like real real deep and loose with no traction that's what that Jamie was, likes the best right I thought that was your favorite Jamie's when it's real loose big wide and wet the summer and, railway and hairy <laughs> 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 so it's a little bit tough gravel Jamie's favorite it just goes, man. Never ending.
Ladies and gentlemen, that's what shame looks like. Shame, defeat, suffering, abuse, lack of hope, no accountability. He's done. He's fucking done. <laughs> He's fucking done. He's out. He's out, boys. He's out, man. <laughs> Look at his tail. So actually, let me know. Let me know in the comments if that's a snapping turtle, because I'm pretty sure it is. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! How are we gonna do this? Wild. Dude, this is not gonna be good. So we're soaked, we're completely soaked, it's deep, and we got a long way to go. <laughs> Looks like fucking Bigfoot's vagina on your butt. So we just spent probably 30 minutes cleaning up all the ghillie suit out of our gears. This stuff here. How bad is it? It was another soaker. Ladies and gentlemen. Fuck me. I'll have to bleep that out. You guys ready to go? Charles in the back. Josh is leading the pack. Powered by pepperoni. Probably six K maybe. Getting ready to cross the finish line. Three o'clock on the nose, we left at nine, went to the satellite dish. Nine times twelve, so 
six hours total. Six hours total. That's it. Okay, guys, throw a comment down below. Smash the like button. Subscribe. <laughs> Hello. <laughs>